10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power and lift off of Starlink. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicles pitching down range. Plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Launch Complex 4 East at 10.38 a.m. Pacific Time. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon is supersonic. With that call out, we've heard that Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. You just heard the call out from Max Q. This means that the vehicle is currently experiencing the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Now we're just over a minute away from a series of events that are going to take place back to back. These are going to be main engine cutoff, or MECO, stage separation, second engine start one, and fairing separation. During MECO, all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on board the first stage booster will shut down. Then stage separation is when the first and second stages of Falcon 9 separate. Second engine start one, or SES1 for short, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage for the first time. And fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage before making their way back to Earth. Keep an eye out for these events happening in quick succession and listen closely for the callouts on the nets. Go. Stage separation confirmed. And in back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. So they're back to back. You heard Miko, stage sep, SES1, and fairing separation all confirmed. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves again today using our recovery vessel, NRC Quest. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission have already been to space before, one half flying for the fifth time and the other for its second. Just as a reminder, on the left-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's first stage making its way back to Earth, and on the right is the second stage carrying our 51 Starlink satellites. Reusability is the key to our success here at SpaceX because it allows us to reuse the most expensive parts of the rocket multiple times, driving down the cost of access to space. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, of course I still love you, stationed in the Pacific Ocean. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which gives it that great orange color that you're seeing on your screen, and this burn should last another several minutes. Great views of the Earth in the background behind MVAC on your screen. Again, that's on the right-hand side, and stage one is on the left. As I mentioned earlier today, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 214th mission overall and 15th mission just this year.
Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. You just heard that stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories, which means they're headed in the right direction. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. The telemetry readouts in the bottom corners of the screen give you insight into stage one's telemetry and stage two's telemetry. On the right-hand side of your screen, you see MVAC on its way to space, and on the left-hand side, stage one is returning to Earth. The next major milestone we're coming up on is stage one entry burn startup, which will be the first of two entry burns that the booster gives. Stage one entry burn startup. There's the call out for the stage one entry burn. Stage one, which I've also been calling the booster, has ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. The first stage being used to launch our 51 Starlink satellites into space stage today one entry burn shutdown. is flying for the 12th time. You've also just heard the call out that the entry burn on board the first stage has been completed. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage two FTS has saved. Stage one, transonic. That call out that the first stage is transonic means the booster is now traveling near the speed of sound. Stage two, terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. As I'm sure you just heard and saw, Falcon 9 has Nominal successfully landed on our drone ship, of course I still love you, in the Pacific Ocean. This marks our 176th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions.